Thanks for tuning in. This week we join Radical Randy and Gary Bang as they take the wraps off the new Brandon Harley Davidson store now under construction. It's big, it's bold, and it's right here in our neighborhood. And then it's off to south of the Skyway as Gypsy's friends and family say goodbye to this memorable biker in a touching ceremony you won't want to miss. It's all coming up right now, right here on Born to Ride. This is Paul Tuttle and you're watching Born to Ride. Hey there, all you buckaroos and buckarats. Here's big news. Harley-Davidson of Brandon is about to become the Old Town Harley-Davidson Buell of Brandon, a gigantic Harley destination that dwarfs just about everything around. I mean, it's gigantic. But I'm getting ahead of myself, so let's join Gary Bang as he gives us a guided tour of the site, now under construction. Looks like the construction is really moving along. What do you got in mind for us today? Well, I'll tell you, I want to show you what's going on with the update with the store. And I'll kind of show you what's going on out here in the front of the store right here. We're going to be redoing the fence here, a no-climb fence on this side to the right side of our entranceway. There's going to be a Longhorn steer in there. Willie G, our mascot's going to be in there, an actual live uh, Longhorn steer will be in there. And, of course, it follows along with our theme called Old Town Harley-Davidson. Kind of a theme will be, again, will be a Western town. Old Western town is our theme here. Uh, we got a lot of exciting stuff to show you, so let's continue on. Let's go. All right, let's, let's go, go for a ride. And Ron here again. This is our entrance, a new entrance gate. It's going to be a one-of-a-kind gate. It's going to be made out of hardwood, an old Western hardwood wood gate entrance. We have a uh, old-fashioned barn shield carved out of uh, wood on the front of it. And again, to the right will be our range for our cattle for Longhorn steers. And Ron, as you can see here, we have uh, over nine acres of uh, facility here. Uh, a great place for events. You can see over here, we have our large lake right here. There'll be a uh, lighted fountain in the middle. Again, to the right over here will be our range for our cattle. And we're coming up to the store right now. Again, the store is a 50,000 square foot facility. Plus a restaurant, which is another uh, 3,000 square feet. The actual community is uh, we're the talk of the town. Our customers are all excited about it. And uh, again, we have a lot of neat features out here, such as the restaurant over here with a large patio over, over a uh, lake. Um, we're going to have, uh, again, the Riders' Dance course, we'll have night lights, so we can have courses, uh, two to three courses a week going. We can put a total of 36 riders through a week. Um, again, the amenities are just, just uh, I can't even name all the so many things that are going on out here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's Radical Randy. I'm right here at the new location of the new Brandon Harley-Davidson, and construction is in progress. Gary Bang, tell us about what's going on behind us here. Well, we're pretty excited. Uh, we promised you something special. Yes. We have a 9,000 square foot facility all the way in the back, back in there. That's our old facility, and we're moving it, getting ready to move into our new 50,000 square foot facility, and it's quite spectacular. So what we've done is we went from the shoebox to the mall is what we're doing, ladies and gentlemen. Now, we brought this to you three months ago. We showed you the blueprints and everything else, and all we have is foundation and rebar up pretty much. Now we have got probably about 80% of this building done, and it's pretty neat inside. Yeah, it's, it's funny you mentioned earlier about the shoebox and going to a bigger facility. It's actually a town. We're calling it Old Town Harley-Davidson, and it's quite spectacular. You know, we've increased the size of the service. We now have a uh, 15,000 square foot service department, one of the largest in the west coast of Florida. Um, we have a restaurant we're building in the, on the property, and that's about a 3,000 uh, square foot restaurant. And really, we're really excited about is the new Rider's Edge course. It's an uh, acre and a half of payment uh, for the Rider's Edge course for uh, training uh, people how to ride motorcycles and training them how to be safe on the road. Well, the growth of Brandon right now, being we live here in the area, this is something we needed. Uh, we outgrew that store two or three years ago. But ladies and gentlemen, we're getting ready to show you the insight of the finishing touches of this new facility right here. And we got a surprise for them, don't we? Yeah, I got to tell you, we have a great crew that's working on the building. These guys and gals are working nonstop, actually 24 hours a day getting this facility done. We're, we're looking for it in August, right? Exactly. We're looking for an opening date of August 15th. 
and our grand opening party should be sometime in November, early November. And we got more to come on that, ladies and gentlemen. So follow me and Gary Bang. We're getting ready to take a Born to Ride view behind the scenes here today. You're in the showroom floor, and uh, right over here, there's gonna be some hardy plank going up there with a uh, tin roof coming off there. Get that real western theme feel to it. A structure, kind of a western rough sod cut structure right in the middle. In here, we're gonna have 12 bikes and it'll highlight all of our custom paint bikes right inside here. This is our uh, parts department. Warehouse. Warehouse, and back in there is our uh, motor clothes department back in there. Upstairs is additional storage up there for uh, parts, takeout parts, new parts, what have you. Almost a little over 15,000 square foot service department. And uh, remember our old building was 9,000 total. This is 15,000 just for the service department. Over here is where our dyno room is going. The viewers out there, what you're going to bring to this town, I think they're going to be highly excited. We think so too. We're really excited about it. Well, it's Radical Randy right here and I've seen the blueprints. Wait till you see the grand opening. It's coming soon on Born to Ride. get our monthly exclusive newsletter sign up at borntoride.com and get on our mailing list today find us on facebook born to ride tv and magazine the ultimate multimedia biker experience as we have sadly reported recently longtime biker icon gypsy has passed away but his memory still lives on at peggy's corral in palmetto memorial service was held that took some of his friends and family on a run to the Skyway Bridge at sunset for a special goodbye for a one-of-a-kind friend and brother. Whether you knew Gypsy or not, we think you will be moved by this tribute to Gypsy. I figured he was on the road a lot. I figured he was He uh, brought, you know, on a highway bridge. His sister said he liked water and uh, had a lot of good times for him. Back in 85, he rode his bike for a hurricane. He had one thing, he was always breaking down. He can always find me when he broke down, too. You know what? <laughs> I used to find him on the side of the road sitting there with his tool, wrap, his tool bag yeah. unwrapped. And, uh, and wait for somebody shot. to come by and fix it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'd say, hey, Gypsy, what's going on? Oh, I got it, I got it. Don't worry, I'm all right. I mean, he, he was sure one hell of a talker. Uh, 
He did a lot of organizing of bike nights and charity runs and And I got to know Gypsy pretty well then, so uh, we miss him. I really enjoy enjoyed him. There's a lot of uh, <coughs> CMAers probably could tell stories about him as you did, and uh, some of the CMAers were broke down, and he helped out there, so uh, he'll definitely be missed here. So we, uh, we, th we thank you for what time I got to know him, and you know I knew him fairly close, or you know, but he was a good friend. So thank you. Appreciate it. He got me working for uh, Full Throttle with him, and uh, we worked together for about seven, eight years. And then I uh, started working for uh, Born and Ride, and then Gypsy come down here. And he started working with us down here at Born and Ride. So, can't beat him, he was a cool guy in that. Did a lot of things together. We all said he's gonna, he'll be in our hearts forever, man. I'll never forget him for the things he's done for me and what I've done in the last 10 years. He's been a lot. He helped me get promoted, this and that, and, and he'd reach out to help you if, if you asked him. And if you didn't ask him, if you sad, like you said, he does magic tricks. <laughs> I didn't know Gypsy very well. I had met him at the Toys for Tots runs, the Bear runs, and all the hospital runs. And I just made him say, hi, Gypsy, and shake his hand and say, God bless you. And, but you know, we, like Foot said, he's looking for a good sunset today. You look out there and see that sun? Looks like streets of gold. And that's what he'll be walking on. Streets of gold. Because God now promised he'd be it right. to us. He'll heal our hearts through his loving care and bring back memories of loved ones to share. We'll shed many tears because it takes a while. A time to grieve and a time to smile. Then one day we find there'll be no more strife. Because God's promise to us is everlasting life. And Gypsy told me, someday you'll be in a band. And he asked me to sing Gypsy. And I didn't. I learned dreams. I learned to stop dragging my heart around. I, I learned landslide. But I didn't learn Gypsy, and I'm so sorry. But I will work on it if I get back in a band again. Because he's back to the velvet of the underground. To a man with sun lace and golden flowers. Back to the gypsy oh, yeah. that he was, to the gypsy that he was. He is dancing away from me now. He is just rich <coughs> to fade away. And it's all up to you. And you know that it does rain. Lightning strikes, maybe once, maybe twice. Ooh, you see. to Ride is a multimedia marketing and promotional machine with TV, magazines, streaming radio, and internet advertising opportunities. There are tens of thousands of motorcycles. We reach the people who ride them. Born to Ride. Find out more at borntoride.com. This guy's going to do a burnout in memory of Gypsy. That's Lester, the man. What do you got to say, man? There's the bro.